So one area of Makey I'm really interested in exploring is 3D printers, and particularly how a 3D printer could be useful in woodworking. And one thing I really enjoy is combining old-fashioned building techniques with 21st century technology. I have this Tarantula 3D printer by TiVo. It's a little bit about this printer. It retails for about 267 Australian, and it comes as a kit. You need to build this yourself and I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, just a quick disclaimer, I'm not getting paid to do this video, but this printer was provided by Gearbest for me to make a video about it. I just want to be open and honest about that. Yeah, so let's put it together, see what we can do with it. Hope you enjoy it. to say I'm a few hours into this build and I feel like a complete kid playing with Lego again. It's really fun. <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty much at the pointy end of the actual hardware side of this build and uh, ready to move on to the wiring. There's a couple of things to note first. There's some QR codes and one of those QR codes points to fairly comprehensive assembly video series for this. When the instructions were unclear, I just went and looked up the relevant video and watched that. The supplied power plug you have to manually wire into the power supply yourself. Not a big deal, but I thought it was worth mentioning. So the general quality components has been really good. Um, the only problem I've had is a couple of screws haven't threaded properly. So in that situation, I've grabbed a flat file and filed a small taper on the end of the screw and that solved that problem. Um, generally, the assembly has been really fun. Yeah, so now I'm gonna move on to the wiring.
Okay, here we have Bodie McBoatface, the most feared geometry in the 3D printing world. This model is generally used as a test for 3D printers. Right, so let's have a look. So here we have Ultimaker 2, about a $3,500 printer. And here we have Tarantula, um, $260 printer. A uh, few things to note. I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's a little bit of rough pretty around the uh, the bow. Um, I think where Ultimaker really shines is this smooth surface here. Yeah, this this surface here is beautiful. Like, it's really good. It's almost smooth. Whereas Tarantula, it's good, but you can see some light print lines. And it feels a little rougher. Where I think Tarantula does beat Ultimaker is the top. You can compare the two tops. I think Tarantula's top is actually better than Ultimaker 2's top. So Ultimaker sort of has these crafty bits, and I don't think they're really a big deal. I mean, you can easily trim them off with an Exacto knife. Tarantula doesn't have those. Uh, for those who don't know, this is the plate adhesion layer, and it stops the model moving around when it's printing. So there you go. I think that is absolutely incredible. It's not perfect, but for a sub $300 printer, I think it's easily good enough. I'm absolutely astonished on how good this is. Okay, so there you have it, a sub $300 printer kit build. I now have another tool in my tool chest and I'm really looking forward to finding out how I can integrate it into my making workflow. Keep it on future videos. I think it's really interesting how you can get a printer like this and then use that printer to print parts for itself that'll help improve it. I think that's really cool. And there is absolutely no end of mods you can grab off Thingiverse and print them out and help improve your printer. So if you're interested in me doing a uh, part two of this printer where I look at some of the mods and improvements, leave a comment below. Right, so the question is, do I recommend this printer? And the answer is absolutely, absolutely I recommend this. There's a big, however, this printer was definitely a project in itself. I estimate I've had about 20 hours invested in it, in the building and calibration and messing around with software. So don't expect to get this printer in the morning and have it up and running in the evening. Where I wouldn't recommend this printer, if you're someone who just wants a 3D printer and wants to be printing as fast as possible, steer clear of this one. If you're someone who likes building mechanical objects, tinkering, hacking, like fiddling around with firmware settings, the making and building process, consider looking at this printer. Yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up, share, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. It helps me out and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.